Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Premier League Match Week 17 is here and this is my quick preview for all the games. But let me start by reminding you what is happening on the table after 16 games. Liverpool are on top of the table with 37 points. Arsenal come second, 36 points. And you can read with me. Aston Villa, Manchester City are fourth, fifth. We have Tottenham Hotspurs, sixth. We have Manchester United, seventh. Newcastle United, eighth. Brighton, ninth. West Ham United, tenth. Fulham, eleventh. Brentford, twelfth. Chelsea Football Club, thirteen. Wolves, 14. Bournemouth, 15th. Crystal Palace, 16th. Nottingham Forest, 17th. Everton, 18th. Luton Town, 19th. Burnley, and the bottom of the table, Sheffield United. And remember, Everton are under appeal right now because um they were deducted 10 points so if they win their appeal they might go on top there probably 11th or 10th and chelsea are gonna be bottom okay my people so let me go very quickly like i said it's a lot of games so we have to be very very quick friday december the 15th nottingham forest against tottenham Hotspurs. very very tough game forest need to win uh i think their manager is under a lot of pressure at the moment tottenham Hotspurs. yeah they they just won the last game you know so you know they completely destroyed newcastle united and nottingham forest drew the last game against wolves i think this game is gonna be another draw 2-2 two -two. moving on 10 o'clock eastern time in the u.s you have she chelsea against sheffield united at Stamford bridge chelsea lost their last game against everton 2-0 and Sheffield United actually won their last game against Brentford. But I think Chelsea are going to beat them 3-1 at Stamford Bridge. And don't forget that I've already made a video uh, on the Chelsea game. So you have more details. 10 o'clock. Manchester City against Crystal Palace. City actually won their last game. Very, very difficult game against Luton Town 2-1 Crystal Palace lost against Liverpool but I think City are going to punish them it's going to be 3-0 to Manchester City next up Newcastle United against Fulham Newcastle United are out of the Champions League they have a lot of injuries but they have nothing to worry anymore they have just to focus in the Premier League. Fulham are really flying at the moment. Look at this. They completely destroyed West Ham. The last game in the Premier League. 5-0. Okay. I think Newcastle United playing at home. Are going to have advantage on Fulham. And they're going to win 2-1. Moving on. The last game of Saturday. Is going to be Burnley against Everton. I really want Burnley to win this game, man. I like Keep Vincent company. I want him to stay in the Premier League. So I think, yeah, they're going to win 1-0. Burnley to win 1-0 against Everton. Everton are very strong, okay? They beat Chelsea the last game. Uh, Burnley drew against uh, Brighton the last game. So 1-0 to Vincent company. Good luck. <laughs> now, let's move on 
and talk about the games on Sunday, December the 17th. All right, my people. On Sunday, Arsenal against Brighton, 9 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time. Oh, man. Arsenal, they lost the last game against Aston Villa. Brighton drew their game. Brighton played on uh, Thursday in the Europa League. They're going to be tired. Arsenal have one more day to recover because they also played on Wednesday, I think, or Tuesday in the Champions League. I think Arsenal are going to beat them 2-1. It's going to be a very difficult game, but Arsenal to win 2-1. Moving on. Brentford against Aston Villa. Villa played on Thursday in the Conference League. They drew that game. Brentford, hmm, they lost the last game against Sheffield United, so they, they won't really accept to lose at home. I'm afraid this game is going to be a 1-1 one, one draw. Moving on. West Ham against Wolves. This is a must-win game for West Ham. They lost the last game in the London Derby. 5-0 against Fulham. Wolves actually drew against the Nottingham Forest. So I think... Hmm. West Ham are going to win this game 1-0. And then the last game... On Sunday, is going to be a big one. Liverpool against Manchester United. Lord have mercy. Okay, so this game is going to be all gun blessings. Manchester United won't have Maguire. They won't have Bruno Fernandes. No Mason Mount and some other other injuries that they have. And Liverpool, we all know how they love to beat Manchester United. <laughs> this one is going to be very tough. So Liverpool actually won their last game against Crystal Palace away, 2-1. And Manchester United lost at home against Bournemouth, 3-0. And then they lost in the Champions League. Again at home. So they won't accept to lose that game. Under, otherwise, uh, Eric Ten Hag is going to be under a lot of pressure. Liverpool lost in Europa League. 2-1 against the uh, Union saint gilois Yeah, saint gilois in Europa League. 2-1 they lost, but it's not going to affect them. They played a, a bunch of kids so they can save big guns like Salah for Sunday I'm afraid this game is going to be another beating and Liverpool are going to beat uh, Manchester United seriously 3-0 yeah <laughs> being conservative here but I see another 3-0 win for Liverpool and uh, it could be the end of uh, Eric Ten Hag just let me know in the comment section down below if you think Eric Ten Hag is going to get sucked if, if they lose against uh, Liverpool. 